The Panama Canal is one of the most impressive engineering feats in history. It connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, allowing ships to save time and money by avoiding the long and dangerous route around South America. It is a vital artery for global trade, especially for the United States, which relies on the canal for almost half of its sea freight. But this marvel of human ingenuity is facing a serious threat. It is running out of water. The canal depends on a complex system of lakes, locks and dams to raise and lower ships across the isthmus. But the water levels in these reservoirs are dropping due to climate change and increased demand. This means that fewer and smaller ships can pass through the canal, creating a bottleneck that affects the flow of goods and commodities around the world. How did the canal come to be? And what challenges did it face? And how can it be saved from drying up? In this video, we will explore the race to save the Panama Canal and its uncertain future in a changing world. The canal was built after decades of trial and error, ambition and failure, and perseverance and sacrifice. The first attempt by the French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps failed in 1889, after 10 years of work and the death of more than 20,000 people. The second attempt by the United States succeeded in 1914, after overcoming the difficulties of the terrain, the climate, and the diseases. The canal has been operating for more than a century, serving as a vital link for global trade and commerce. But recently, it has faced a new challenge, climate change. Climate change has reduced the rainfall and increased the evaporation in the canal watershed, causing severe droughts in 2015 and 2023. As a result, the water levels in the reservoirs have dropped to critical levels, forcing the canal authority to restrict the size and number of ships that can transit the canal. These restrictions have a significant impact on the global economy, as they reduce the capacity and efficiency of the canal, and increase the costs and delays for shipping. The Canal Authority and the Panamanian government are racing to find solutions to save the canal from running out of water. The main solution is to build a new reservoir by damming the Indio River and digging a tunnel to connect it to the existing lake system. This project would cost about $2 billion and take about six years to complete and would increase the water storage capacity of the canal by about 60%. But this solution has obstacles. It requires a legal and constitutional amendment and a public referendum to allow the construction of new reservoirs in the canal watershed. It also involves complex engineering and environmental challenges, such as the risk of landslides, earthquakes, and floods, and the impact on the biodiversity and the livelihoods of the local population. There are also other alternatives, such as recycling water, using water-saving basins, installing solar panels and wind turbines, and implementing water tariffs and incentives. But some of these alternatives are not enough, too costly, or too controversial to implement. Another alternative is to build a new canal that would compete with or complement the Panama Canal. For example, Nicaragua has been planning to construct a canal across its territory with the support of a Chinese company. Colombia has been proposing to build a tunnel that would connect the two oceans. Mexico has been creating an interoceanic corridor that would link the ports of Coatzacoalcos and Salina Cruz. These projects have their advantages and disadvantages, such as feasibility, profitability, security, and environmental impact. They also have their supporters and opponents, both domestically and internationally. The Panama Canal is facing an uncertain future, as it struggles to cope with the effects of climate change and the competition of other routes. Will the canal be able to overcome its water crisis and maintain its dominance in global trade? Or will it become one of many options, or even obsolete, in a changing world? The answer depends on many factors, such as the political will, the economic viability, and the environmental sustainability of the proposed solutions and alternatives. It also depends on the evolution of global trade patterns, the demand for shipping, and the technological innovations that could affect the maritime industry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Wonderful Stories, for more videos like this. We would love to hear your thoughts on the Panama Canal and its future in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.